Have you ever been on a roller coaster? You climb steadily upwards, a mix of anticipation and nerves bubbling in your stomach. Then suddenly, you're plunging downwards, the wind whipping past your face. The economy, in many ways, can feel like that roller coaster. One minute, things are predictable, moving along at a steady pace. The next minute, we're experiencing a dip, a shift that can leave us feeling uncertain and maybe a little bit queasy. One of the most impactful of these economic dips, a drop in interest rates. Whether you're aware of it or not, interest rates play a role in your financial well-being. They influence how much we pay for loans, how much we earn on our savings, and even the overall health of our economy. Understanding this connection is crucial, especially during times of economic fluctuation. When interest rates drop, it sets off a chain reaction, creating ripples that reach every corner of our financial lives. Some of these ripples might be welcome, offering opportunities to save money or invest wisely. Others, however, might present challenges, potentially impacting our long-term financial goals. This is why it's so important to unpack the complexities of interest rates, to move beyond the jargon and grasp the tangible ways in which they affect us all. By understanding the mechanics behind these fluctuations, you can approach your financial decisions with more confidence and clarity. Imagine a giant seesaw. On one side, we have borrowers, people needing money for homes, cars, or business ventures. On the other side, we have lenders, individuals and institutions with money to spare. Interest rates, they are the pivot point of this seesaw, balancing the needs of those seeking funds with those providing them. In simple terms, an interest rate is the price of borrowing money. When you take out a loan, you're not just paying back the original amount borrowed. You're also paying a percentage of that amount as a fee for the privilege of using the money. Conversely, when you deposit money in a savings account, you become a lender, allowing the bank to use your money. In return, the bank pays you interest, a small percentage of your deposit as a thank you. But who determines these crucial interest rates? In most developed economies, this responsibility falls upon a central bank. In the United States, it's the Federal Reserve, often referred to as the Fed. These institutions act as independent entities, tasked with maintaining the stability and health of the overall financial system. The central bank doesn't simply pick a number out of thin air. They use a variety of economic indicators to determine where interest rates should be set. These indicators include things like inflation, unemployment rates, and overall economic growth. By carefully analyzing these factors, central banks aim to set interest rates at a level that encourages sustainable economic activity. When the economy slows down, central banks often lower interest rates to stimulate growth. The impact of changing interest rates extends far beyond just the cost of loans. It's like a domino effect, with each change triggering a series of consequences across the entire economy. For example, when interest rates fall, it not only becomes cheaper to borrow money, but it also affects the returns on savings accounts and other investments. Lower interest rates generally mean lower returns for savers. This can be discouraging for individuals who rely on interest income from their savings accounts or fixed income investments. On the other hand, lower interest rates often lead to a rise in asset prices, such as stocks and real estate. This is because investors seeking higher returns may move their money from low-yielding savings accounts to these potentially more profitable investments. Understanding these interconnected consequences is vital for making informed financial decisions. Imagine you're standing at the foot of a mountain ready to climb. A lower interest rate is like having a lighter backpack. It doesn't change the mountain, but it certainly makes the climb a bit easier. When interest rates drop, the cost of borrowing money decreases, making it more attractive to take on debt. This is because a lower interest rate translates into smaller monthly payments. Let's say you're taking out a loan for a car or consolidating some credit card debt. With a lower interest rate, you'll end up paying less money over the life of the loan. This can free up cash flow in your monthly budget, allowing you to allocate funds towards other financial goals, like saving or investing. The impact of lower interest rates is particularly significant 
for large loans like mortgages. A small decrease in the interest rate can result in substantial savings over the long term. The housing market in particular is highly sensitive to changes in interest rates. Think of interest rates as the tide that can either lift or lower the boats in the harbor, with those boats representing home prices. When interest rates fall, the tide rises, making home ownership more accessible to a wider range of buyers. This is because lower interest rates directly translate into lower mortgage rates, making monthly mortgage payments more affordable. As a result, more people may qualify for a mortgage, leading to increased demand in the housing market. This surge in demand can drive up home prices, creating a seller's market. For existing homeowners, lower interest rates present an opportunity to refinance their mortgages at a lower rate. This can significantly reduce their monthly payments, freeing up cash flow for other expenses or investments. For individuals and businesses looking to borrow money, lower interest rates can feel like a breath of fresh air. It's like getting a discount on the cost of using someone else's money, allowing you to stretch your budget further and potentially achieve your financial goals sooner. Lower interest rates can be particularly beneficial for entrepreneurs and small business owners. Access to cheaper credit can fuel business expansion, allowing them to invest in new equipment, hire additional staff or launch new products and services. This can lead to job creation and overall economic growth. For individuals, lower interest rates can make it more affordable to finance large purchases, such as cars, appliances or home renovations. This can improve their quality of life and stimulate consumer spending, which further contributes to economic activity. Lower interest rates can also provide some relief for individuals with existing debt, such as credit card balances or student loans. In a low interest rate environment, understanding how to manage your finances effectively becomes even more crucial. It's like sailing in uncharted waters, you need to adjust your sails and navigate carefully to reach your destination safely. While lower interest rates offer advantages for borrowers, they can present challenges for savers. With lower returns on traditional savings accounts and fixed income investments, individuals may need to explore alternative investment options to maintain their purchasing power and achieve their long-term financial goals. Diversifying your investment portfolio becomes paramount in a low interest rate environment. This may involve considering a mix of stocks, bonds, real estate and other asset classes to potentially earn higher returns and mitigate risk. It's also essential to review your financial plan and adjust it as needed. Navigating a low interest rate environment requires careful planning, informed decision making and a willingness to adapt to changing financial conditions. Remember that comforting clinking sound your piggy bank used to make? Each coin dropped in represented a small step towards your goals. In a way, a savings account is like that piggy bank, a safe place to store your money and watch it grow slowly but steadily. However, when interest rates fall, that growth can feel more like a snail's pace. Think of interest rates on savings accounts as the rent your money earns for being parked in the bank. When interest rates are high, your money earns a higher rent, allowing your savings to grow more quickly. But when rates fall, so does the rent, leaving your savings to accumulate at a slower pace. This can be particularly discouraging for individuals who rely on interest income from their savings, such as retirees or those saving for a short-term goal, like a down payment on a house. The lower interest earned might not even outpace inflation, meaning the purchasing power of your savings could actually decrease over time. While lower interest rates on savings accounts can be disappointing, they often signal a good time to explore other investment avenues. It's like realizing that your usual walking path is under construction. You might grumble a bit, but it's a chance to discover a new, potentially more scenic route. When interest rates fall, investors often seek higher returns elsewhere, shifting their money from low-yielding savings accounts to potentially more profitable investments like stocks, bonds, or real estate. This is because these investments carry the potential for higher returns, though they also come with varying degrees of risk. Stocks, representing ownership in publicly traded companies, offer the potential for significant growth, but also come with the risk of market volatility. Bonds, 
Essentially, loans you make to governments or corporations typically offer more stability than stocks, but may yield lower returns. Real estate, while potentially lucrative, requires a significant upfront investment and carries its own set of risks. The key is to find the right balance of risk and reward that aligns with your financial goals, time horizon, and risk tolerance. Imagine a tightrope walker gracefully navigating a thin wire high above the ground. The higher they climb, the greater the potential reward, but also the greater the risk of a fall. This delicate balance between risk and reward is a fundamental principle in investing, particularly in a low interest rate environment. When interest rates are low, the returns on low risk investments like savings accounts and CDs are often lower as well. This can entice investors to seek higher returns by taking on more risk, potentially investing in assets like stocks or high yield bonds. While these investments offer the potential for greater rewards, it's crucial to remember that risk and reward are intrinsically linked. The higher the potential return, the greater the risk of loss. Before making any investment decisions, it's crucial to thoroughly research and understand the risks involved. Section 4. The Long Game Investing, like running a marathon, is about pacing yourself, staying focused, and not getting sidetracked by short-term fluctuations. This long-term perspective becomes even more crucial in a low interest rate environment, where the temptation might be to chase quick returns by taking on excessive risk. While it's natural to feel impatient when your investments aren't growing as quickly as you'd like, it's essential to remember that investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Short-term market fluctuations are inevitable, but they shouldn't derail your long-term investment strategy. Instead of trying to time the market, focus on building a diversified investment portfolio that aligns with your financial goals and risk tolerance. Regularly review and rebalance your portfolio as needed, but resist the urge to make drastic changes based on short-term market movement. Remember, the power of compounding, like a snowball rolling downhill, can work wonders for your investments over time. The longer you stay invested, the more your returns can compound, potentially leading to significant growth over the long term. By maintaining a long-term perspective, staying disciplined and seeking professional financial advice when needed, you can navigate the challenges of a low interest rate environment and position yourself for long-term financial success. How lower interest rates can drive prices up. Lower interest rates encourage spending and borrowing due to cheaper credit. Increased demand, if not matched by supply, drives prices up, leading to inflation. This is too much money chasing too few goods. Short-term benefits include higher employment and economic activity. But long-term inflation erodes purchasing power and savings. Central banks must balance stimulating the economy without letting inflation run rampant. The ripple effect across international markets. Interest rates set by major economies, central banks have far-reaching effects. When the US Federal Reserve lowers its rates, it can weaken the US dollar. This makes US exports cheaper and more competitive abroad. However, it can lead to capital flight from emerging markets. A weakening domestic currency can increase the real cost of foreign debt. This highlights the interconnected nature of our modern economies. Economic stimulus or long-term risk, evaluating the pros and cons. Lowering interest rates stimulates economic growth, especially in recessions. Cheaper borrowing encourages investment and spending, aiding recovery. But it can lead to asset bubbles, increased debt and inflation. Higher debt becomes risky if conditions change, causing defaults. Asset bubbles are a significant risk. Bursting bubbles can cause widespread damage, like in 2008. Policymakers must balance growth with long-term stability. Riding the interest rate wave. Staying informed for financial success. Interest rates profoundly impact our financial lives and the broader economy. Even small dips can create ripples affecting loans and savings. Understanding these dynamics empowers informed choices. Knowledge is power in finance. Stay informed, seek advice and navigate with confidence. Small changes in rates can significantly impact decisions. Don't be overwhelmed by complexity. 
grasp fundamental principles for clarity and control. You're not alone in this journey. Advisors and resources are available for guidance. Thank you for joining us on this exploration. Subscribe for more content on achieving financial goals.